Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh My name is Ahmad Fazri bin Ma'zin Today, I would like to present from our Faculty of Innovative Design and Technology Universiti Sultan Zainal Abidin, Malaysia A product, say, a cervical brace using the concept of self-balancing robot and we bring you what we call the product is your doctors at home. Together with me is Professor Madia, Dr. Nor Suhaili binti Abu Bakar, Dr. Nor Haiza binti Mak Yaakob, Elias Arifin, Dr. Narish Bashkar Raj, Dr. Muhammad Fidaw Ashraf bin, Muhammad bin Abdul Halim Yap, Dr. Wan Omar Ali Saifuddin bin Wan Ismail, Dr. Irina Yusra binti Abdul Fatah. Our team uh, presenting our product and we are focusing to develop a new technological approach for a new kind of cervical brace into the market. Before we go more precise about the cervical brace that we are, develop, we are developing, let us see the video about how to wear the product. Okay, uh, we are promoting a very uh, simple design. Uh, only a few steps that uh, this product can be fixed into the patient. Testing the effectiveness of the uh, lever to the chin. Install head support plus chin support and chest support together. That's all. That's all we need. Then uh, how it works is we setting uh, through the Arduino PID uh, platform. Then this is the 16-digit uh, integer reflecting to the platform of movement downwards. Tip angle is calculated by Arduino itself. It is returned back uh, to where uh, if the Arduino found that the uh, point uh, uh, shows it's below the uh, set point and is asking the uh, the motor to drive the gear and the platform get back to the uh, original position. So that's how uh, this product work. Okay, now uh, we look at the abstract uh, of this uh, of this development. Okay, first uh, we need to uh, know that the uh, hollow brace, which is the most rigid external immobilizer especially in the upper cervical where it used uh, for a neck fracture uh, this hello brace is is, uh, is used for to stabilize uh, and control the injured neck during a healing period which is uh, it takes about uh, maybe up to eight months so in this uh, eight months period of time uh previous research on the current model in the application of cervical brace okay is mainly solid and rigid positioning manually adjust to required position thus unable to provide this tangle changes for home patient so uh the significance of this study involves a new knowledge of this area that require developing a new design of cervical brace to improve the ability to control the appropriate movement with the integration between mechanical and autonomous uh, robot. Uh, this project presents an attempt on developing an autonomous self-balancing robot attached to the new design development of a cervical brace with combination of rigid brace structure and the assist of Arduino uh, controller. 
it will indicate uh, the inclination angle and the control uh, motor to move forward and backward as to maintain zero degree uh, platform and maintain zero degree angle with minimum battery usage for long period use. Okay, this study uh, had finally contributed to the exploration and development of new theoretical understanding of cervical brace integrate autonomous robot control usage parallel with innovation solution in replacing rigid brace and increased satisfaction among home patients during a rehabilitation period. Okay, this is a hollow brace, uh, which is uh, commonly uh, been fixed on a neck injured patient. Okay, this is a uh, hollow brace is most common device used to immobilize the unstable cervical spine to keep the bone from weak, according to Perry, Jacqueline and Nicole in 1959. Uh, the cervical spine is susceptible to injury because it is highly mobile with relatively small vertebral body support the head which is both heavy and act as a lever uh, so this is uh, according to radiopedia uh, it also shows that the weakness or instability happen when the structure of the neck cannot appropriately stabilize after removing the hollow brace that protect all movement for a certain period of time and mostly the neck muscle are not strong. So this is reported by uh, Arushita Weyer and Bellamy in 1989. Okay, after the patient is already approved to uh, release uh, their uh, hello brace uh, usage, they will be going to be replaced by uh, uh, a hard uh, collar of cervical brace. So this hard collar cervical brace, if they are in proper use of, of it, according to Isidro at all 19, uh, 2019, says that it also contribute 20.7% of neck pain, the complication, still having the, the complication of neck pain. So improper use of cervical brace, uh, it contribute muscular pathic, affecting 70% of people within their lifetime. So this 70% is tendency of having a cervical spine pain, according to Bromford, Evan and Nelson in 2001. Now we look at uh, what the market offered uh, for a cervical uh, brace. Uh, to any patient that already removed the hello brace during their rehabilitation. This is a kind of uh, cervical brace offered. As you can see that all type of uh, heart cervical brace uh, are promoting uh, same uh, concept of uh, neck uh, protection. Okay. Current cervical brace disadvantage, most of all, are promoting immobilization. Then they also are tilt movement restricted. No movement in any angles allowed. Then uh, the adjustment you need to uh, undergo for a follow up visit to adjust the uh, allowable angle. Uh, according to uh, set by the physician and this is manual adjust. Now we see the objective. Developing a new design of cervical brace to improve the ability to control appropriate movement with the integration between mechanical and autonomous robot. So uh, we are creating the development then we are believe that this is a very useful application for a home patient during their rehabilitation, which is they will go for a rehabilitation under a certain control condition automatically. 
then you also uh, provide the medical practices such as a physician or rehabilitator uh, a very useful tools to control the progress of their individual uh, patient with the individual setting then uh, we are providing a new way uh, for a medical uh, curriculum mostly for a rehabilitation procedure that a choice uh, for a new uh, cervical brace uh, uh, control uh, development then for uh, we believe that uh, for a researcher this is a new way of uh, controlling a patient which is suffered from the result uh, of uh, hollow braces then we believe for the novelty and effectiveness that uh, this is as a new idea and a new design developed using mechanical and automation process cervical brace using the concept of self-reliance in robot then we believe that this is a small in size ergonomics and high safety factor then we believe that we have a provide a customer affordable cost then uh, this new development of hello braces uh, have a commercialization potential and marketable worldwide since uh, there is a lot of patients suffer uh, cervical uh, spine uh, in uh, worldwide then uh, we are promoting our product it's powered by rechargeable uh, lipo 3s uh, uh, 3000 milli ampere uh, with uh, 11.7 volt using a bipolar stepper motor controlled by the arduino nano uh, and gyroscope and accelerometer result from the tilt angle calculation and transfer into arduino nano pid then translated the angle calculation into uh, 16 by integer which is this integer is uh, exposed into a single uh, setting as you can see here is acx uh, in x direction and able to readjust into the required uh, integer measured by the uh, physician then this is our technical uh, drawing then we believe that we have uh, user and environmental friendly design then we are using a uh, plastic part then can be uh, recyclable all the component also is recyclable and this is uh, our 3d models look alike uh, i think uh, that's all uh, for our presentation then we hope that our contribution of this development of new cervical brace will help uh, uh, cervical uh, brace suffer patient a new way uh, for uh, better control uh, of the uh, rehabilitation progress thank you that's all from us